Hey guys, it's Aniket and today I'm here with an unboxing and review of the Corsair Harpoon RGB gaming mouse and we'll also be giving a quick walkthrough of the IQ software and a little bit of my gameplay so keep on watching. So the Corsair Harpoon RGB gaming mouse comes in this sort of packaging. Currently it is available at 1399 Indian rupees on Amazon. The highlighted features of this product are, it weighs just 85 grams. It has a DPI range of 250 to 6000 and DPI can be changed on the go with the dedicated DPI button. It has 6 programmable buttons which are completely customizable as per your needs with the IQ software. And lastly it has dynamic RGB lighting which is also completely customizable using the IQ software. Now let's open the box and check out the actual product. Wow, this is so well packed. So here's the mouse. The first impressions of the mouse is really good. It has a smooth and premium feel and is very comfortable to hold. Let's keep it aside for a moment and see what else do we get. Nothing special here though, only the instruction manual and the warranty guide. I was expecting a collectible sticker or something like that. Anyway, here's the Corsair Harpoon RGB gaming mouse. It comes in this all matte black finish with gloss thumb buttons on the side and a little bit of glossy polycarbonate near the scroll wheel and the DPI button to enhance its looks. And it has textured rubber padding on both sides for better grip. The mouse is very comfortable to hold and the size is perfect for people with hands of 17 to 18 cm. And flipping it around, it's nice and clean supported by 4 feet and the sensor used here is the Pixar 3320 sensor which is good for FPS and MOBA gaming on a budget. The Corsair logo is the one zone RGB you get on this mouse. Very little but RGB. Coming to the cable, it has a good length of 1.8 meter, but it's not braided. Although it has this hard plasticky head which supports the cable and prevents it from breaking easily and also looks very cool. And lastly, the wire coming out from the mouse is on the left side instead of center which is kinda interesting to me as I have seen almost no mouse with this style of wire. So this is the IQ software. It is divided into 4 parts. The first is a section where you customize your programmable buttons and macro actions. Here I won't change anything because the defaults are just perfect for me. Moving on to the next section, this is where you customize your RGB settings. You can choose from predefined effects or use your customized effects or basically just choose from this other group of presets which are named as lighting link. I prefer the rainbow effect so I will select this one. The third option is where you change your DPI settings. As I told you before, it has a DPI range of 250 to 6000. So here you can choose any DPI between this range. However, you can't just choose any number, it has to be a divisible of 250. One great feature is you can add colors to the different DPIs you keep to make you aware what DPI you are rocking currently. The last option is named as performance, although I just couldn't understand what's the purpose of it. It just basically increase or decrease your pointer speed. I will suggest you that you just keep these settings as it is and if any IQ expert is seeing this video, feel free to guide me on this one. Lastly, you can save all these settings differently for any number of profiles you create by going to the top and clicking the add button. So this is it for the IQ software, now let's go towards the gameplay.
Overall, Harpoon is a good mouse considering its price. All the buttons are good and responsive and it offers good customization of the RGB and buttons. I only found one con of this product that in the DPI settings you have to choose from the given presets and can't just enter any number you feel like. As I use 800 DPI on my main mouse but on this one it's not possible. It has to be a divisible of 250. However, this is not that big of an issue. You can adjust your in-game sensi accordingly and the Pixar 3320 is a very good sensor. If you are looking for an entry level gaming mouse or if you have a budget of around 1500 rupees then you can definitely check this out. Links are in the description. And this is it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then don't forget to toss a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will be catching you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.